medical foster home is a care option that veterans can utilize where they live in a traditional home with a family and there's no more than three residents under care. It's a really highly individualized care setting where you will have one caregiver serving three veterans and so whatever the veteran is interested in, it's actually generally very easy to create that lifestyle for them. We partner with private homes and families to provide a home-like atmosphere for veterans to live. They provide 24 hours a day, seven days a week, support in a home environment. Nobody understands my joke, so. Yeah, the dogs give you away, that's how I know you're in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a home where there's a lot of love. A foundation piece of foster care, in addition to individualized care, is looking for families that are very warm and loving. Once we've selected a home that might be of interest to a veteran, and sometimes it's two or three homes, we really encourage to go on tours, to meet the caregiver, to see the home. It also helps us to best understand if there's any adaptations that need to be made to environments, such as ramps. We conduct about four different inspections of a home. We do an occupational therapy, i.e. accessibility inspection. We do a nursing inspection. We do a dietary inspection. We do a fire and safety inspection. And then the uh, medical foster home coordinator also does an inspection and does in-depth interviewing of the owner caregiver. And so I think that loved ones, family members of veterans who are considering it can really take great comfort in knowing that there is a lot of oversight. Oh, he's kind of the guard dog then. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's a, checking he's a, it all he's out. He's a spook, he tells on me. He's a little snitch. <laughs> little snitch. <laughs> what you would normally do as a family is what they're doing here, and it's the caregivers that do that because they're not willing to let these guys be deprived of their life just because they may have a medical needs that pop up or they may have disabilities that can't be managed as well on their own. So they really are the lifeline to the community that uh, they'd be lacking otherwise. I would say if you want to have some comradeship and some fun, enjoyment, get along with the other guys and the people, do it, do it, yeah. It gives you more security, more feeling of belonging. That's good. One of the really unique caveats of the VA Medical Foster Home Program is that every veteran is followed by the VA home-based primary care team. This is a specialized team that's interdisciplinary. They meet with the veterans to provide assistance and assessment and help them create their care plan in the home. They also are there to provide support to that caregiver so that they're continuing to thrive as well. I'm gonna to listen to your heart first, so just breathe, breathe normally to start. We see the benefits of medical foster home being things like improved strength, flexibility, decrease of wounds. We see happiness. I have also seen veterans decrease pain medication and mental health medication. The greatest soul satisfaction that I get from doing this job is the gratefulness that I hear from the veterans the gratefulness that I hear from the family members and loved ones, I mean, they had no idea that this was a possibility for them. And when we create this possibility for the veteran, they're just ecstatic about it. Freedom. I have freedom. So I just appreciate everything that the VA has done to make living here more comfortable and safe, definitely safe.